Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. Today I'm going to show you interesting stuff in ClickView. This topic is advanced topic and I would assume that you already know how to create charts, modify chart properties and also use variables. I'm going to divide this topic into three or four different parts and I wanted to keep the videos as short as possible. So I would recommend you to go through follow parts for full understanding. So let's get started. Let me show you what we want to do today. So let me quickly jump into the main tab. Okay, so we are in the main sheet now. Okay, so this will be the final output. And I'll show you step by step process on how to combine multiple charts, which provides powerful analysis. And this technique opens new ideas and shows the power of click view most important aspect to remember is to configure the individual charts carefully for effective and powerful output. So if you're looking at this, this is actually a four different bar charts. So one, two, three, and four. So four different bar charts. They're working together, I mean synchronized together and working together by using the variables and other properties. And so let's look at how it works and what, what is this all about. Before I get started on how it works, let me give you some idea about uh, the metrics. So let's look at the data itself first to have some understanding what is this data all about. So to keep this topic interesting, I've picked up Cricket World Cup 2011 data thanks to ESPN Crick Info for providing this data. Just in case, if you don't follow cricket, here are some simple definitions. On the left-hand side, we are looking at strike rate. So what is strike rate? Strike rate is average number of runs scored per 100 balls faced. So if I am a batsman and if I'm scoring like 50 runs for every 100 balls, I face then my strike rate is 50. And uh, let's look on the right hand side. That's pretty much uh, straightforward. It's total number of runs scored. So if I'm playing 10 matches and then it's the total number of runs I sc I've scored across all the 10 matches. And here we will see all the players and we'll also see which country they represent. Okay. so. That's that's pretty much about it. It's 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 straightforward. And on the right side we have country and we have matches and other fields. So let me show you how this works. So it's let let's say what we're trying to do here is we're trying to understand the relationship between people who scored more runs and also their strike rate. So we're trying to see if a player scores 500 runs, is he actually scoring the runs very quickly or is he playing very, very slow? Because all these really matters, the strike rate really matters. So if he's scoring the runs very quickly and also scoring more number of runs, that means that he's a very good player. And if his strike rate is good, but if he's not scoring too many runs, it's not great, you know. So even this should be higher the better and this should be higher the better. So just for example, I've included strike rate and runs, but it can be anything in real world example. So you can combine two different metrics or two different measures, which has some relationship between each other. So let me show you how this works. So right now this data is being sorted by number of runs scored. So you see them, they are all sorted in descending order. And you can see the players here and you can see their strike rate here. Just to show you, for example, if I'm looking at uh, Smith, so it shows Smith here, the pop-up, and it's Smith here, and it's Smith here. So there, it's all synchronized. And let's say that now I wanted to sort by strike rate. If I click on sort by strike rate, now I can see. So this player has 233.3 strike rate. However, he just scored seven runs. So that really doesn't help. So if you wanted to see by 
run score so you can click on run score and so now it's much better you can see now you can see these players scored more number of runs and also their strike rate is relatively high so if you're looking at this particular player Sevag, so he scored 380 runs which is fantastic and also scored very very quickly than the rest all of us and this particular orange line is just an average so average strike rate across all the players so if someone is if any player is above the average that means that it's a good sign so he's doing much better than the rest of the players and again here it's it's the average number of runs scored across all the players that what the slider is all about so this slider is all about filtering top 10 percent because if you are looking right now there are 203 players here but we don't want to look at all 203 players at in one go so this is percentage of players you wanted to look i'm looking at top 10 percentage players based on total of total number of runs scored and if i scroll down if i just want top five players you will see the data is filtered top five players so you will see for example uh you singh so here and you singh here and you can sort by strike rate now so now this data represents top five per percentage of players who has the highest strike rate and look at this guy this guy is actually good he's having 150 strike rate pollard and he's scored 180 runs so that's a good sign so again if we sort by run scored and so you can move the slider and increase the percentage if i wanted to see top 15 percentage so you know, bars increase so let's look at here Carlis. and so that that's all about is and you can filter players if i want to look at all the english players you can see here and if i wanted to see english aussie indian players and new zealand players and sri lankan players so so all the filters still work so so th that's all about it so let's see how i built these charts